QD OLED versus Mini LED on the Samsung QN90B versus the S95B versus the QN90A. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we'll be taking a look at Halo Infinite, Forza Horizon 5, Returnal, Call of Duty, and some trailers with bright flashing images to help you make an awesome buying decision to see if the S95B can go toe to toe with Mini LED. All this coming up on Victor's Reality. So friends, you can see here, I tried to fit all three TVs on my room and I didn't have the space. It is over 12 feet in length and my room is only 11 feet. So you see my dilemma. So I did the best I could to try to show you the differences. Now the camera is focused on the S95B and just so you're aware on the settings, on the left we have the QN90B, on the right we have the QN90A, of course in the middle we have the S95B. Both mini LEDs are at 35 brightness. 40 contrast, 5 sharpness, and warm 1. And the enhancers are on low, while on the S95B, we have it at 50 brightness, 50 contrast, 5 sharpness, warm 1, and the enhancer is on high. The reason is, I have to get the camera to be able to capture all three pretty good, as one will be overexposed or underexposed, and this is the best way I can get it. So, what you're seeing here, is the max power and that's what we do here on the channel we show max power to help you make that awesome buying decision 50 brightness equals to about 30 to 35 of brightness on the mini leds there is room to spare on both mini leds and that's why i have said before friends if you love image picture pop i love that on my qn90a especially in a bright environment with a lot of ambient lighting rgb is going on this is in a dark room for this video but you know what i mean sometimes you just need that brightness and here, I'm showing you the max capabilities of the QD OLED. It's a beautiful TV, don't get me wrong, it's the best TV I have ever used. But there are limitations, and I have been seeing a couple of videos out there where the brightness is just overexposed. It's just too bright, and it doesn't get that bright. You know, when you do a recording, you just don't hit record and go. It takes hours to get this footage. And I try to do my best to give you an honest representation of what you're paying. Again, if you love mini LED brightness power, 35 equals to 50 on this QD OLED. 30 to 35, more or less. And again, it all depends on the scene, what you're playing, what you're viewing. With a more white background, the QD OLED will show its limitations. And also to note throughout this whole video, the QD OLED is showing off a warmish tint, I would say purplish, reddish, grayish tint versus the mini LEDs. Again, you do not see that in person, it's just the way the camera records it. Just want to make sure you guys know what you're seeing always. So if you see that, it doesn't show in real viewing. Just want to point that out. But again, friends, here I have all three TVs. The QN90A is my favorite TV of last year. I've never had a major issue with blooming anything with gaming or movies. I love that TV. The only thing that bothered me was sometimes in a star field or sometimes, example, watching scary movies in a dark woodsy setting. A lot of the trees at night would get muddy, would get blended in. Or like Demon's Souls on the PlayStation 5, it's a very dark game. And the castle, sometimes when you enter a tunnel, you would see the surrounding bricks get muddied with the black and the brick contrast. And that's because the mini LED cannot be like OLED, where it can't turn off or turn on on a pixel level. The mini LED itself, with the algorithms and the processing all have to work together where it could dim at a certain point to get that contrast while on OLED it can just pinpoint dim itself on a pixel level but that's the problem I had with the QN90A now we jump to the QN90B which really does fix that issue with new algorithms and new processing I would say that the QN90B has fixed those issues those issues while increasing the brightness and lowering the blooming and this is to my monitor friends. My LG 27G N950 is like the QN90A and the GP950 is like the QN90B. One is brighter, but one has more contrast. More or less the same. New menus, new algorithms, new ways of doing things. It is an improvement, but it's not night and day, but it is visible. And then enters the QD OLED S95B, which does everything perfect and can get bright. Again, I'm showing 35 brightness on the sides and 50 on the QD OLED. If I would put 50 on the mini LEDs, it would destroy this QD OLED in terms of brightness. 
and brightness color. QD OLED does bring that picture depth and the crisp of the picture, and I'm sure the hardcore people could tell the difference, but as a person that loves picture brightness, especially in an ambient setting room with a lot of windows, a lot of light coming in, it's hard to tell, you can't tell. But in a dark room, you can easily tell. And that's where the QD OLED wins every time. Again, friends, I will be doing versus videos with two TVs as it's easier to show two TVs with the correct exposure. Instead of three TVs, this is really hard. But I'm trying to show you more or less the differences, especially here with Forza. You can see the car, they're all shiny, they're all beautiful. But to me, the QN90B has more contrast than the QN90A. Again, it's coming out a little bit dark on the left, but because it's to the side a bit more. And that's what the QN90B brings. It does bring that contrasty OLED picture kind of level versus the QN90A, which is sloppy. And that's just being honest. And you know I love my QN90A, but I'm gonna tell you like it is. The QN90A, it's sloppy in terms of the mini LED algorithm with many games and movies. Then you go into the QN90B, which brings everything almost to OLED level because the contrast is deeper on the QN90B, that's for sure. And it does get brighter in certain scenes. A lot of the time, I have noticed that the QN90A is brighter than the QN90B. And I'm sure you've seen everywhere where the QN90B is brighter. And I have seen it a lot of times that the QN90B is brighter. But I say sloppiness of the QN90A makes it brighter sometimes in certain scenes. So that's where the QN90B controls its algorithm, controls its mini LEDs to get bright where it needs to. It's not 100% foolproof. There are parts where it just it's a little bit sloppy. That's where I say. I get headaches at 50 brightness on the QN90B. It shouldn't be that bright at the Xbox menu versus the QN90A, which is, again, both at 50 and the QN90A doesn't give me any headaches. But there are scenes where the QN90B in HDR, it's the best HDR TV on the market today, the QN90B, that's for sure. So HDR King would go to the QN90B. And until we get into more versus videos versus the QN90A with the S95B, to see if the S95B would be a major upgrade from the QN90A. And that's what I would say. If you have the QN90A, the natural best upgrade would be the S95B. But if you still love that brightness, that mini LED look, the QN90B still is an upgrade because the contrast, there's more contrast on the QN90B. It's brighter, it's tighter, and it has more contrast. Trust me friends, it does. Not night and day difference, but there is a difference. If I had to pick one of these TVs, I would go with the S95B. Look at those black levels here with the Resident Evil Go Tell Aunt Rhodey trailer. Look how beautiful the images are looking on the S95B. It's black. That's something you can't fake. Mini LED can't get black like the OLEDs can. That's just common sense. The S95B is crispier and more 3D-ish. And you can see it's pretty bright. But again, both mini LEDs are 30 to 35. Right here you're seeing 35, but I would say between 30 and 35. I have to make that clear, friends. But regardless, even if you crank up the brightness on the mini LEDs, they still cannot reach the contrast and 3D-ish and crispness of this QD OLED. That's why I always say the upgrade, the best upgrade would be from a QN90A would be the S95B. If you love that Samsung look with their gaming features, which to me, are a must in my purchasing decision. But if you want that mini LED, if you want a TV that can overpower any kind of lighting that you have in your room, the 90B is the best option. Remember, this is dark room gaming and the S95B can get pretty bright in certain scenes, but there are a lot of scenes which I will be able to show you in future videos that the mini LEDs just overpower it and the QD OLED just doesn't look that good. No OLED can compete with mini LED power if that's what you want, or depending on the scene, especially like HDR, you want those super bright highlights. Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow down the picture here with a video I edited to show you the brightness power of all three TVs. You can see the QN90B and the QN90A are brighter, their whites are whiter versus the S95B. Don't get me wrong, the S95B is white. It's just that the camera I told you before is picking up that little bit, that little tint that's showing up on the S95B. Even with that tint or grayish look with the white highlight at 35, 
both mini LEDs still are brighter than the QD OLED. That's what I'm showing here with this scene. I never want you to think that QD OLED can beat mini LED in brightness power. That is not true. And it just goes to show how much brightness power these TVs have versus the QD OLED. But look how far QD OLED has already come in terms of the total picture package. And that's what you gotta see. The total picture package. The S95B will not give you a headache even at a full 50 brightness. The QN90A borderline, but it does not. The QN90B, crazy. It does give you a headache. It gives me a headache. So imagine, SDR 50 brightness is crazy bright. This scene right here with her dress, this is an important scene. The shimmer, the crystal clarity of her dress, the S95B is clearer because of the OLED pixels are so crisp versus mini LED, versus VA, versus IPS. What you're seeing here on the mini LEDs, even from me seeing it in front of it, her dress, her sparkle looks muddy-ish versus the crisp of the OLED. That's the best way I can describe it and that's what I'm showing you right now. Here is a requested video with the stars from Returnal on the PlayStation 5. I don't need to explain what you're seeing here. You can see easily what's going on. The QD OLED, the OLED power, and the pixel difference versus other technologies is a win. And you can see every single dot, every single star is highlighted and it's bright. Versus the QN90A, which is having a tough time. You can see right here, the picture is dimmed. It can't get bright enough because then you would introduce a lot of blooming. So the QN98, it's not a sloppy TV either because it knows it can't replicate what it's supposed to do so it just doesn't get too bright. But here on the QN90B, you can see more stars. There's the smaller stars you can see, but it's still not as bright as the S95B. This is a perfect example of mini LED capabilities versus OLED technology. And as we're gonna be going on in the scene, you'll be able to see us cer at certain parts the S95B can get really bright, but look at those stars. It's amazing to see that. Any kind of star field, any kind of nighttime scene, the S95B always wins. With the S95B, and even though it's QD OLED or OLED technology, Samsung processing does give it that 3D-ish look. And that's the word, the crisp plus 3D-ish look. It's like going from IPS to VA. The VA gives you more picture depth. And the same thing here with QD OLED versus even the best mini LEDs on the market. That crispness and that 3D-ish look. The best way I can say, but they're all awesome TVs, friends. All of them. The QN90A is still a beautiful TV. I love that TV. I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna game on it. Yes, I would prefer to play it on the S95B for those inky blacks and that crisp picture. Processing more or less is the same. The neural processor is a bit better on the S95B. But again, it's not night and day either. All these TVs are awesome. And it really just depends on what you're looking for. The natural and awesome upgrade from the Neo QLED Mini LED would be the QD OLED S95B from Samsung. So if you want to stay in the Samsung family, the QD OLED is amazing. And I'm just watching it here too. And wow, I can't believe how awesome and how clear this picture looks on the S95B. It's really clear. And I do want to say thanks, friends, for all the likes you have given me on my videos and the nice compliments you have given me on how clear the picture looks. I do my best to give you the best image possible, trying not to overexpose, trying not to add too much color, as I know many of you don't like too much color. So I have reduced my videos from 35 to 28, more or less, to tone down the colors, to give you a more accurate picture, to make it easier for you to see. But friends, all TVs are awesome. I will have other videos like this, a three-way, but it's not a feasible situation. It's not easy for me to do it in my room. I had so much trouble trying to get all three aligned. So I will do as many as I can, and then I'll go to side-by-sides. I love showcasing technology, and I just want to help you make an awesome buying decision. So friends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like as it helps the channel tremendously. And consider subscribing if you do want to see more monitors or TV videos to help you make that awesome buying decision. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.